Salam, salam. Inshallah, everyone is doing well. Um, you know, there's so much to say. There's so many emotions. It's funny because I have many, many Jewish friends and I see their stories and their posts. And of course, I have many, many Muslim friends and I see their stories and I see their posts and it's the completely the exact opposite of each other. I mean, literally on, on many of the issues, some people say left, the other people say right. One person says up, one person says down. And like you just go round and round and round in a circle, which is one of the reasons why I don't think I wanted to say anything the last couple of weeks. However, there is one message that I want to get out there, which is we are a people as Muslims. We are a people who have first principles. These first principles are given to us by our creator, taught to us by our prophet, peace be upon him. They are eternal and absolute. One of those first principles is the the sacred nature of the human being. Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We have honored the human being. There is no difference in somebody's faith, somebody's creed, somebody's geography, somebody's political stance. All human life is sacred. There is never, ever, ever a justification for the killing of an innocent person. One of the problems in the discussion that I see is that there are people, there are people from our, you know, from the Muslim and Arab side that are saying some pretty hideous things about Jews, of course, about Israelis. And we have to be fair. We can't do that. We have to be fair. We have to acknowledge the truth. We have to stand for the truth. We stand unapologetically for our brothers and sisters in Palestine for the right for self-determination, for the right to have a dignified life, a, a homeland, a two-state solution. You know, we can openly advocate for these things despite the resistance, and we must. But what we cannot do is we cannot sacrifice our first principles. We cannot say anti-Semitic things. As a matter of fact, I was telling my community back home in, in America that we would, should be the first people to protect those synagogues that surround our message, because our mosque has like at least two or three synagogues, to protect them from any anti-Semitic behavior because that is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us. When Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala addresses the problem um, of the Holy Land in Surah Al-Isra, He says that this land will be given eventually to Ibadan Lana, our servants. Elsewhere Allah Ta'ala says in the Quran, وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَنِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ هَوْنًا وَإِذَا خَاتَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا The servants of the merciful ones the servant of the merciful one are those who walk softly on earth, quietly on earth, and when the ignorant people engage them, they say, peace. That is what we need to hold ourselves to. Do not let the frustration, the anger, the rage allow you to sacrifice your principles. We must hold to those principles, rise above that, and we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a cessation of all violence uh, as soon as humanly possible. Just some thoughts. Wassalam.